Good morning. This is Monday, July 10th, and today's devotion is the spiritually lazy saint. This is Hebrews 10. Let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling together of ourselves, as is the habit of some. That's Hebrews 10. We are all capable of being spiritually lazy saints. We want to stay off the rough roads of life. And our primary objective is to secure a peaceful retreat from the world. The ideas put forth in these verses in Hebrews 10 are those of stirring up one another and keeping ourselves together, coming to church. Both of these require initiative. Our willingness to take the first step toward Christ's realization, not initiative toward self-realization, it requires initiative. To live a distant, withdrawn, and secluded Christian life is diametrically opposed to spirituality as Jesus Christ teaches us. The true test of our spirituality occurs when we come against injustice, degradation, ingratitude, and turmoil, all of which have the tendency to make us spiritually lazy. In other words, we'll say, yeah, forget about that. I'm going over here to hide. I don't want to deal with that in church. You know, church divisions, they can have all these things and make us go away and just let it die. While being tested, we want to use prayer and Bible reading for the purpose of finding a quiet retreat. That's where you get your quiet retreat. You don't physically go away and hide and never come back. We use God only for the sake of getting peace and joy. We seek only our enjoyment. Jesus Christ, we, we seek only our enjoyment of Jesus Christ and not a true realization of who he is and what he requires of us to be his disciple. This is the first step in the wrong direction. All these things we're seeking are simply effects, and we've yet to make them the cause. And I always say this, people like to have the inoculation of Christianity, but not the whole disease. We need to have the whole disease. We need to dive, we need to dive head first into Christianity and surrender ourselves completely to Jesus Christ not just get the vaccine and call it good. Peter said, yes, I think it is right to stir you up by reminding you. As 2 Peter 1, it is a most disturbing thing to be hit squarely in the spiritual stomach by someone being used by God to stir us up. And that's a true statement. It's happened to me many times, and I've actually done it to people many times, as God told me to. Someone who is full of spiritual activity approaches us and dares to challenge us and stir us up. Simple active work and spiritually active work are not the same thing. Active work can actually be the counterfeit of spiritual work. The real danger in spiritual laziness is that we do not want to be stirred up. All we want to do is hear about the spiritual retirement program and, and possibly a retirement program through the world and yet Jesus Christ never encourages the idea of retirement. He says, go and tell my brothers. The challenge I have for us today is, have we committed all that we do to the Lord? Have we said everything, and we've heard Oswald preach this for the last year, even the mundane things. Is God in the midst of everything we do? Making a pot of coffee for the one you love, is God in the midst of that? It's how we, will have, how we will know whether it's just busy work or whether it's work that God has called us to. And that's a trap. <clears throat> Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, these writings of Oswald that stir us up. As Peter wrote, I think it's a good thing, yes, to stir you up. So, Father, we need to consider, as Peter said, these stirrings. Maybe, perhaps, Lord, we're goofing around. We're just doing busy work to satisfy our own conscience, and we're not doing what you've called us to. So, Lord, would you check our spirits today and really let us be honest before you. We love you, Father, and we thank you for challenging us in these areas. In Christ's name, amen. God bless us. I'll see you tomorrow.